Another distinguished witness who will join us today is screen legend Jack Palance, who starred in many classic film productions during a career that has spanned five decades. He's here not as an actor, though, but as a painter. Jack Palance has a powerful philosophy that we don't have to age in the traditional sense, but we need to stay actively involved with life. Watching his one-armed push-ups uh, during his Academy Award acceptance is evidence of that. But creating artwork, he'll tell us, is one of the best ways to keep the mind alert and to inspire creativity at any age. Mr. Palance has served his country well, having survived a bomber crash while in the Army Air Corps during World War II. We welcome here today as an inspiration to us all. But before leaving Jack Palance, I have to say, uh, and I'm glad I have the chance to say this publicly, <laughs> I wish my wife were here to, here to hear this, because I have long said, and I keep looking for movies that Jack Palance is in, because, uh, you know, I'm from Las Vegas and have had the opportunity, and happily so, to introduce and meet many, many actors and performers. But I have to say, uh, Jack Palance, uh, I know nothing about you personally, other than the brief thing I've given here today, but from your acting, you've always been my favorite. I have the Silver Chalice and all these other movies, so I'm glad you're here today and that I can say this publicly. We'll also hear from art and dance therapists and persons who benefited from these therapies. We will hear innumerable cases as to how art and dance therapy for persons. So these inexpensive therapies can have miraculous effect on older persons. As Samuel Ullman has said, years wrinkle the skin, but to give up enthusiasm wrinkles the soul. At a time when older persons are the fastest growing segment of our population, and many are faced with what late the late photographer Ansel Adams has called geriatric jails, we face a great challenge in keeping these people involved with life. This hearing is all about finding what the federal government can do to bring creative art therapies to older persons who need such attention. Mr. Chairman, I know time is going on, but I have to say this. I have tried to uh, have action speak louder in words, and I've done uh, in Las Vegas and Reno on two separate occasions at four different rest homes, convalescent centers, to see if music therapy really has some bearing. And there is a man in the audience, I didn't know he was here until I looked out a few minutes ago, a man by the name of Sean Seaman. Sean, would you stand? Uh, the reason I mentioned Sean Seaman is he, several years ago, started a group called Young Heart. He, at his own expense, ha has been show traveling and uh, through rest homes throughout California and Nevada, at my request, with his Young at Heart presentation. He has been to Nevada, as I indicated, on two separate occasions at his own expense and appeared at four convalescent centers. His music is wonderful. And I can give examples of people who have been brought back to life as a result of his performances. That's what music is all about. On one occasion, he performed in a Las Vegas convalescent center. And when uh, the music started, there was one woman who was bent over her chin on her waist in a trance, for lack of a better word. And as Sean and his uh, partner at that time, Finger Shoop, a world champion fiddle player, began to perform, and as the minutes wore on, she suddenly, her head was up, and she was part of the program, her hands clapping. She was singing it as, as they have as part of their program when they, their live performance ends. He and Fingers would go off into different rooms and prepare to, to perform to people that are bound to their rooms. In one Las Vegas room, there was a woman who had been there for years, literally, by the name of Carmelita. Uh, and Fingers went to that room, not Sean, played his fiddle, was with my wife, trying to talk and get her interested in what was going on. And she got interested. She started talking about her family. And, and uh, she, when they left, got dressed and came out of her room. I mean, these, this stuff that we're talking about here is real, real people. And uh, this music and art and dance 
is going to bring other Carmelitas back to life. And that's what this hearing is all about. You've asked me, Mr. Chairman, to briefly explain my legislation, and I'm happy to do that. Uh, what this bill does is authorize support services uh, to assist older individuals. And remember, this is what it's all about. In avoiding institutionalization and assisting those that are institutionalized to return to their communities. And we hope to do this through services provided by state and area agencies on aging under state plans. It adds them, that is, it adds art, dance, and music to the list of services designed to satisfy special needs and quality of life of older Americans, particularly those with greatest economic and social needs. It, uh, goes into some more specifics of how this is defined, how there will be uh, demonstration projects and research projects that advance the understanding of the efficacy and benefits of providing music therapy, art theory, and dance movement therapy, therapy to older individuals. Again, but let me stress, Mr. Chairman, this is to avoid institutionalization, and those that are institutionalized, get them out of institutional institutions and bring them home. Thank you very much. Reed, we thank you very, very much. As a Yep. But, uh, I believe we are ready for our first witness this morning, Mr. Palance.